Hi everyone, I'm Madam Sabah here. This week's lesson is actually continuation from previous lesson. So we are still in chapter 3, Chemical Bonds and Water. So these are the subtopics of chapter 3. In this week, we're going to learn about two main subtopics such as properties of water and aqueous solutions. Therefore, at the end of this lesson, we should be able to determine the structure and properties of water, describe the aqueous solutions and buffering mechanisms. So before you learn about this week's lesson, let me do a small recap about previous lesson. In previous lesson, you learn about two main types of molecular attractions, such as intermolecular forces and intramolecular forces. Intramolecular forces means molecular attraction between the atoms within a molecule. However, intermolecular forces means molecular attraction between the molecules. For example, the molecular attraction between one water molecule and another water molecule. Intramolecular forces such as covalent bond and ionic bonds. However, intermolecular forces such as hydrogen bond. Water covering about 70.8% of the Earth's surface. It naturally exists in liquid, solid and gaseous state. Water is the only common substance that can found naturally in all these three common states. So this is the structure of water. In previous lesson also, you have learned about the structure of water molecules. So when you look at one water molecule, there are two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So the hydrogen atom is partially positive N. However, the oxygen atom is partially negative N. So the chemical bond that holds hydrogen and oxygen atom within a water molecule is polar covalent bonds, strong polar covalent bonds. And then one water molecule bind to another water molecule through intermolecular forces such as hydrogen bond. Hydrogen bond means the chemical bond between hydrogen atom and highly electronegativity atom. So here in this case, one water molecule bind to another water molecule. So the hydrogen atom from one water molecule bind to highly electronegativity atom such as oxygen from another water molecule. Hydrophilic molecules. Hydrophilic molecules means the substance or the molecules that dissolve in water which known as hydrophilic or water loving. For example, ions and polar molecules can dissolve in water. Hydrophobic molecules. Molecules of substance that are insoluble or cannot dissolve in water, known as hydrophobic or water fearing. Non polar molecules generally cannot dissolve in water. For example, hydrocarbons, which contain many carbon hydrogen bonds, lipid soluble molecules, vitamin A, D, E, K. So these are the molecules are insoluble in water and known as hydrophobic molecules. So in next video, you will learn about water properties. That's all from me. Thank you.